what is going on youtube it's your boy spanko and i haven't done this in so long but we're vlogging again today is actually the premiere for cyberstorm access sayak i think that's the sayak it's sayak and it's i'm excited because we're finally going to get to play locals again and i love these premiere events i always like seeing the brand new cards i don't even know if i really need anything from this set i kind of want to play super heavy samurai so maybe that stuff but uh if you guys do enjoy these vlogs make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu Gi Oh content just like this one we upload five days a week here on the channels deck profiles vlogs like this one duels combo videos all that good stuff it's right here on the channel so make sure you guys are subscribed to see all of that with that being said it's currently 11 27 in the morning and the premiere starts at 12 so i gotta get going but but i i still haven't done it yet and i know the odds are low i want to see if we can pull a starlight i feel like we can if you guys like this video and if you guys subscribe all right, and we're on the way to 10,000 subscribers, so we can make it happen. Anyways, let's get to locals first, and then I'll explain what's going on, what deck I'm playing, and all that good stuff. All right, so it's just before 12, and it looks like we got here on time. They're probably going to be starting late. You guys can see behind me, it's actually pretty busy. That makes for a good event. It's all the boys are here. It's nice to get to see everyone. But I'm already excited because we got the one card I was here for, really, is the Dinomorphia intact, because this is like a solemn strike for the deck, and I really, really wanted to update the deck post Sayak, and now I can do that. I actually brought the deck here with me. I'm not playing it today. I'm playing Crystal Beast Kostra today. But I will say that this is a profile that I'll probably film today. Depending on actually how many people are playing Sayak decks, I may actually play Dynamorphia. We haven't signed up just yet, so I can still pick whichever deck I want to play. And these are legal for today. Sayak technically comes out next week, but because it's premiere, we can still technically play these for the day. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm excited. We have Dynamorphia, all the new cards, which is nice. And then now we just got to see what we pull with our sneak packs. I want Jordan to give us our packs because whenever Jordan gives us packs, we always pull good. So uh, I'm going to set up now and then uh, get ready for the tournament and then update you guys as we go. All right, boys, we got our six packs. Field center. Let's go. We pull the starlight right now. We, we pull heat right now. Tell her night. All right, let's go. Pack number two. Oh, Wish Dragon. I was, I was going to say, I thought we missed the super rare. All right, we got four packs. We still have a shot. I really want some of the ultras. So maybe we still hit good. Man is on. Super rare. Three super rares. We need an ultra or a secret or a starlight. You guys can tell it's it's really loud here. Dreaming. Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. But we got two more packs. Someone hit. Someone hit. Someone hit. Oh, okay. Okay, we hit the Despian yeah, secret rare. That's pretty good. We hit a secret. Well, I thought I thought we were going like six for six supers, bro, because I haven't hit nothing else. We hit the secret at least. I pulled a shitty secret. Let's see if we pull uh, an ultra or something here. And... Oh, yo, I got double secrets! Wow. That's crazy! Yo, these are two good secrets. Isn't this really good right now? Yo! That's, that's crazy. That's good packs. I hit two secrets. Oh, baby. All right, what do we do he, today? He did it again. Did so, it again? if you guys don't know, if you guys watch the sneak peek vlogs, I always ask for Jordan to give me my packs because he's the good luck charm. Last time, Jordan didn't give me my packs and I pulled like trash. We pulled not one. We pulled two not secret too rares. You know what's funny? You want to hear something funny? What? They were giving out the packs and then one of the other people gave me my packs. I was like, no. I was like, no, no, I want Jordan to give me my packs. So he literally went across the room, came and gave me my packs, and we hit two you secrets. You had me sprinting all morning. Bro, I love I love you. I <laughs> love you. Man. I love you. Bro, two secrets. That's I'm that's really good, man. It's not a starlight, but two secrets, I'm excited about it. Soon after. So we're starting off our round one over here, and we actually win the die roll, which is really nice. But my entire hand is just Koshtara cards. So we end up just going the full Koshtara combo, ending on Shangri-La, a rise heart with Fenrir's, which is pretty nice here. We get to lock a zone as well. Our opponent really can't do much other than special three different monsters. So you guys are going to see he gets three monsters on the board and then he ends up uh, going to Unicorn to bounce a Rise Heart, but I end up banishing the Unicorn. He has a Prisma here, but he realizes that he can't really do much after this because at this point he has no cards in hand. So you guys are going to see here he ends up scooping it up and we're going into game two now. So game two, you guys can see he goes first here and I start off by activating Shifter, but my hand was so bad I opened up the Rainbow Dragon and then I think I really couldn't do much else and I didn't really know the mana don't match up too much because this is a new deck that just came out in Sayak 
And uh, you guys are going to see here that uh, Shifter doesn't really do anything because all their effects get triggered when they're destroyed. They don't actually have to be sent to the graveyard. So you guys are going to see there's not much that I really can do here. But there is something that really is funny that happens. So here I can't really do much. He has a Despian on the side of the field, which is the new Despia Synchro Monster. And that card is really good. Or is it Bestial? It's maybe a Bestial Synchro. Regardless, I end up going into our big eye over here, which you guys are going to see. Because I'm thinking like, okay, there's really not much I can do other than take that. And that's a Monster Negate on in itself, which is really powerful. But because I opened the Rainbow Dragon, I can't actually go Zenith and do all the shenanigans. Otherwise, I would have had enough for game so you guys are going to see here that i actually negate the fusion effect but he goes ttt to take my big guy to then take the synchro back that i stole from him yeah that that was kind of crazy if if i had the rainbow dragon in my deck i would have been able to play that out really well but here you guys are going to see i cowboy him for game and we win our round one so our round two is starting up over here and we end up losing the die roll we're going up against dragon link and my hand was atrocious here you guys are going to see i actually end up scooping it up before i show my opponent what we're even playing because i didn't want to give him that knowledge but my hand was like rainbow dragon salvation foolish burial goods like it was so bad it was unplayable game two over here though i go prosperity i get to see the cash engine which is crazy because i end up setting up the entire cash board but on top of that you guys are going to see that i end up setting up a full crystal beast board as well with conclave and miracle set he goes dark ruler no more i negate it with miracle and i'm just like okay if you have the evenly you have it if not then we're going into game three he didn't have the evenly so you guys are going to see here we end up going into game three both our hands were pretty bad here but uh rebranded plus uh beast control is really really powerful just because you're being able to set up monsters every single turn disruption every single turn my hand wasn't great here either but you guys are going to see that he's just going to hold the bounce and the pops for my Koshtar monster, so I can't actually ever go into a rank 7. Uh, I Kaiju the Bestial monster, so he can't use Beast, but at the same time, he still has Hieratic Seals to bounce. So you guys are going to see, this game is still very back and forth, it's very slow. I end up slowly breaking the board here, it's not like I can't do anything, but I'm not really able to set up a crazy board myself. I should have gone into a Zeus play here, so this was my misplay, and this probably kind of changed the tide of the game. I should have just gone into a rank 4, attacked, and just put a Zeus on the board, just so I have that available and again that was definitely a misplay in hindsight looking back at it I just thought I had enough gas to just sit there but you guys are gonna see with all the bestial monsters and the beast control and all that he ends up getting game three and we lose round two so um we it's raining outside. I was gonna go outside to vlog but it's raining so we're gonna vlog in here uh we just finished our round two sorry I couldn't vlog uh round one I hope I did a little voice over over the duel we ended up playing mana dome in round one and it was actually pretty good we ended up going to game three it was going really close into time and i hate doing this but i went into cowboy for game sometimes you got to do it there was like a minute 30 left on the clock and so i was like listen i don't even know if cowboy's enough but i have cowboy fenrir on the board and i was just hoping for the best at that point right but what he ends up doing is he ends up going dark ruler no more so he couldn't even beat me at that point so i, I don't know why that happened the way it did but it did so we ended up getting our round one our round two was an amazing matchup against dragon link it went all the way to game three back and forth all game and uh i mean he ended up getting it in three it was it was really good like these kind of matches where you have a really good time um i think those are kind of like my favorite kind of matches right and uh one thing that i will say with this deck and i think i said it in the first place deck profile i think this deck performs extremely well i think you actually have to cut the cash engine a little bit like i'm playing three fenrir i might cut it to two and i want to fit more hand traps because in game three my opponent didn't really have a great hand and a single ash a single imperm or a single any kind of hand trap um would have probably won me that game so yeah i already play ash i was playing shifter as well i didn't see them that's just it happens sometimes but if i were to side in or if i were to have room for one more hand trap whether it's imperm or, or ogre or any of those kind of cards um it would have been really powerful but at rex one it's okay it's only two rounds in we still have a lot of time to do well if we go three one on the day i think it's four rounds so if we go three one on the day we can still top we still get some prize packs when saya comes out next week so that's pretty good but yeah i'm having a good time i mean we pulled two secret rares which is insane out of our kits and the duels have been fun the guys here are all great guys they're all fun guys and honestly, even if uh, we end up not doing super well, actually, you know what? I'm not going to manifest that, but we can still trade around and get some cool things, right? So a lot is coming up. I, I got Dinomorphia ready to do a deck profile for you guys post Sayak. So I'm like excited about that. So anyways, uh, I'm going to update you guys after the next round, but uh, I think we still have a little bit of time. I'm going to see what's going on and then I'll see you guys in a bit. We're playing against first place regional Josh in our last round here. I know you came first at the regional, but I got to hand you an L. Also, I gotta hand you an L. You gotta, hand, you gotta hand it to me. I gotta. Out. Just take it now. Just take it now. Just take. Just, 
a few moments later. I can confirm. Uh, Josh handed me that L. I didn't. I didn't hand it to him. Josh handed me that L. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna. I haven't updated you guys in a while. I know I have some duels going up because I recorded some of the duels. I'm not sure if I recorded all of them. I'm actually gonna go right here and talk to you guys okay so um we didn't end super well on the day one thing i noticed today which maybe i need new sleeves but i drew rainbow dragon like every single game against uh dragon link i drew it two out of the three games and the, yeah drawing rainbow dragon sucks because all your zenith plays are just dead so yeah the other day, the other day I wasn't drawing it at all. Today I drew Salvation and uh, Foolish Burial Goods like three times with like with each other in my opening hand. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I still like the deck. I think the deck is still really powerful. When it sets up boards, its boards are like pretty much unbreakable because you're setting up Miracle, you're setting up the Koshtura stuff. It's still very, very powerful. It's, um, it's definitely one of those things though when you go second because you're not playing enough hand traps, it, it can be tough. And even if you, like even if you don't see hand traps, it's not the end of the world, but then you see like a bunch of one ups you don't want to see like, you want to see you don't want to see rainbow dragon you don't want to see salvation uh you don't want to see big bang maybe i cut big bang i like that engine because you can end the stronger law and all that stuff but if you cut the big bang then you can just end on a three mat a rise heart which actually might just be a better play so maybe that's a play but regardless like you know i just didn't draw well today i'm not upset though i'm having a good time we're making fun trades i want to show you guys maybe i'll show you guys later what some of the stuff we picked up because we picked up some cool stuff so i don't know the day's going well though i'm still i'm still you know still having fun with the boys we're still playing we're still having a good time it is what it is can't, can't complain uh but uh now that was our last round actually of the day um we ended up x2 in five rounds so you know it is what it is 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 so let me show you guys some of the stuff that i picked up i think some of this stuff is really cool but i'm also a big shonen jump guy like i really like shonen jump cards so you guys are going to see a lot of these cards here aren't like super expensive or valuable or anything but you know nice little trades here and there these jump promos are really cool so first off is a malefic truth dragon the darkness neosphere this card is absolutely old school it's, it's so beautiful we got the winged dragon of raw and the obelisk the tormentor you guys can see this one maybe you guys can't see actually but this one is not like super near mint but uh for that reason yeah you guys can definitely see it's not near mint there but i just want it for a binder collection anyways and i really like these shonen jump promos i believe there is a slifer so i think i just need to get my hands on the slifer now which is nice just for a collection uh same thing with this dragonic knight over here this guy's another shonen jump promo like i just i don't know what what it is about these shonen jump promos i just really like these old school ones and i have like pages in my collection by of these so to add more of them obviously for me is really really cool then something i got here was uh this abyss soldier from uh i think it's a video game promo this card is absolutely beautiful as well it's actually kind of pricey for what it is it's a nice go format card i'm probably putting this into my decks as well so abyss soldier is, is really nice there then i got some more go format stuff like i got three ultra royal decree two ultra dust tornado i know these aren't like super high rarity for um like go format stuff but it was pretty good to throw in i think these were pretty cool i think the value of the stuff that the uh, people wanted from me were a little bit higher so i picked up stuff like this just to fill some value and then i got a third uh gravekeeper's inscription um well i don't know if you guys would know this is my third but i had two of them for the longest time and i think it's like a four dollar card or something like that so i was like you know what uh let's trade for one of these get my play set just in case it ever does become relevant i think it can be pretty cool and then lastly uh, i picked up some more of these 25th anniversary uh or i think they're called quarter century rares i think these are really nice i already have the slifer but if you guys don't know they've been having a lot of these language issues right i believe all three of these ones are german oh no i think this is italian i think this one's german but regardless uh, i have an italian one of slifer and then now i have a german one so i want to pick up all the different languages that they come in and all of them so like for example like this is my first dark magician my first red eyes i believe or maybe my second red eyes i can't remember but i want like there's a german one there's an italian one there is i believe a spanish one and then there's of course the english which funny enough i think english is the hardest to find that's my pickups for the day nothing super crazy nothing super high-end but i just think some pretty cool stuff that i can add to my collection early the next morning i'm gonna be honest with you i kind of forgot to end the vlog off last night uh me and the guys after the sneak peek went to get food and then we we're hanging out to like 2 a.m playing goat format what's better than 1 30 in the morning goat format with the boys so here I am today, the next morning. Uh, I'm just going to end off the vlog for you guys. We picked up a bunch of cool cards. We had a good time. Yes, we went X2 at the event. It was kind of unfortunate we didn't get the top, but we still had a really good time. Our pulls were really nice. 
And honestly, the best part about doing all this is just enjoying the game and having fun. And it, I feel like that's just what it's all about. And I enjoyed my time. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you guys did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu Gi Oh videos just like this one. And guys, we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. I wouldn't be here without you guys. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you guys all for watching. Stay tuned for more vlogs just like this one. And with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.